the idea of the things not computing with this world, the things that come from a really true and genuine place, not being heard, not being understood, or even being hated or distorted or whatever, is another paradox, another way for me to have made myself, put myself in the fire of this purity so that I can transcend my bias self. And that is the greatest reward I can give myself. And so I don't see myself as a victim of being misunderstood, of being in a difficult, challenging position where I have to either choose to be true to myself or to be loved by other people. Those ideas come up at some point or came up at some point, but just through the practice of it, the willingness, the earnestness and the perseverance that I'll never let go of, that will always continue to make me excel at whatever I'm doing. Mostly what I'm doing is penetrating these spiritual layers that are relevant for all of you to explore at this timing in your evolution. And that too cannot stop me. That too cannot stop me. And it teaches me to be free from personal bias. And so I have become free from personal bias in that way as well. So how do you deal right now? I don't deal with it because as just seen as an appearance. I would say most of the time there are challenging experiences still that have something to do with this theme but they've become so transparent, they've become so manageable in that sense that they are sort of more like on the surface, the ripples on the surface, like they're still there and they still pose a question sometimes and they still allow me to go deeper in that for sure. But you know, the vastness of the water, the body of water is realized through past experiences, through having gone through that fire of willingness. And so it doesn't move me anymore nearly as much as it would have years ago. Nevertheless, on a human level, it actually does support me when I receive support. Like that's one of the things I notice. Even though I don't need the support anymore, it's not something that I crave. It's not an idea either for or against. I'm not either for or against. But like even reading your question here and saying love you and your teachings, it's great. It's a great reciprocation of the love that I share, of the willingness that I'm always going through, not only for my own sake, but also for the sake of those that I share with. So I always love, like a part of me still heals every day when I hear someone that supports me in that way, that supports what I'm doing. So in that way, it's still a beautiful thing. Just similarly, like I've, I've dealt with it in the same way, whether they were friends or whether they were friends in the spiritual community or whether they were just people out of the spiritual community, it just offers me this, this amazing challenge to either choose to go on with my work and go on with what I believe in and what works for me and what is true, what I feel is true and the genuine place that I know I come from. And it challenges me also in the past, not anymore, because now I know that I'm the most loving being that I know personally. I've come to that too, that I only come from goodness. And that's not an arrogant thing to say at this point, because I just know that that's the truth. So I trust myself the most in that sense, which is actually a beauty, not as opposed to other people, but I just have this complete trust to myself that is gained from these paradoxical experiences that I put on my path, such as criticism. So first of all, I'm really grateful that I've created those experiences for myself. And if then people in the field of your work are publicly criticizing you and that reflects badly on you and you hear all kinds of stories back about you that are some are completely untrue and funny even that you're like, oh, that's such a funny story. Like this happened right to you, this happened. And I'm like, whoa, that's awesome. And so when that kind of stuff happens or happened, it, it really just forced me to choose what resonated for me. It brought me to this point of choice. And so I'm so grateful for that because the choice will always be, and I know it will always be right now because I've achieved such greater levels of fearlessness as a result of all this. Criticism. Um, I've dealt with it through willingness to see what was in that for me and to make the choice that is most aligned with me, no matter the outcome. So A, it has helped me to, in all areas of my life, be detached from outcome, to be just freely, to not wait for outcome, to not wait for the physical, to not wait for love and acceptance and approval from others. It has made me incredibly confident doesn't quite cut it as a word, but it's somewhat of the closest words I can get to, but total confidence in the truthfulness of my being. Whereas you can doubt yourself, you know what I mean? Like when you're on your path and you're expressing yourself genuinely, but it's kind of fresh to you and other people criticize it, it's easy to put it down yourself as well. And to, oh yeah, maybe I was coming from the ego or yeah, maybe I was doing this or yeah, maybe I was But now I know like beyond a shadow of a doubt that I could never come from that place 
negative place. So there's this total thrust in myself, which feels so good. It's like this opens this channel to universal unconditional love, being able to receive it and give it.